Hey everybody, welcome to Annie's Place. I am on my vacation at my friend's and I have, uh, this is Phantom. Uh, my friend lost her two kitties last year, so we got Phantom for her for Christmas last year. So he's almost a year old. Now he's going to shoot a thrift video and I, he jumps right on the table. So this is Phantom. He is half ragdoll and half, um... Boy, it's not Maine Coon, it's the other real large cat. So, he's almost a year now. He's all fired up. He's so cute. Get down, buddy. Here. Okay, so. He's been my buddy since I've been here. So, I can't quite remember where I got stuff, and I'll try to remember. Um, Madison, we've been bopping all over the place. Uh, let me zoom in a bit here. These are just some cute buns. These, I think, were at Goodwill. Yep. I thought they'd be fun for cards, because Christmas time's coming up, so I got two packs of those. And these flowers are Martha Stewart crafts. This is like being at home with Gwen. She's always in my stuff, too. These, um, they're kind of three-dimensional, but not... <laughs> well, hi! But they're quite pretty. Thought they'd be nice on cards. This is Goodwill. These are, let's see, just for you note cards. They're in there upside down. There we go. And this is a pack. Let's see if it says, it doesn't say how many are in there. Looks like maybe four. I thought they'd be cute. This stamp. It says hello. And then I like how the butterfly has all these words in there. Uh, it says herbs, bouquet, nature, that kind of stuff. Let's try to get some without glare. All right. Hi. I'm glad you're going to help. I got a bolt of this ribbon. I'm going to back up again. This is too close. A bolt of this ribbon. I was going to try and make some lollipop flowers. Um... Uh, this was, where'd these tags come from? Maybe Salvation Army, I think. So that was 70 cents. And I got some of this yellow ribbon. Thought it'd be good for just cards or what have you. That was 70 cents too. I kind of hee-hawed on that one because I think these are the ones that you sell or can buy at Walmart for 50 cents or a dollar. I don't know. But I, I thought, oh, I like the color so I'm going to get it. I got a couple mason jars. That's for my herbs, so I'll sterilize these because I have a bunch of herbs drying right now. That was 70 cents. Move this stuff aside. <coughs> this I got the Salvation Army. It is yarn, and then this is hard, and then uh, it looks like it might be a headband or something. Not quite sure, but that was cool, and that was 50 cents. Yeah. Yeah, no, I like this, so I might put that on the top of an album. Um, not quite sure, but I liked it so much I got it. Then I got four big sleigh bells. These are antique, looks like. I don't know, that looks like a garage sale sticker. But the, the holder looks like it was antique. I got piping. That was 50 cents. That would be fun for cards. This lot of whatnots. The old country, uh, country style maybe from the 80s. I got that. And I got this whole, it's garland, like snowflake or icicles. That's what I'm trying to say. Icicles. Not sure what I'm going to do with those yet. Oh, good, you're helping. <laughs> See? My kitties are, I think, like seven and eight, so it's fun being around a kitten again. This, I thought, would be fun. Five state rummy. So these would be great for junk journals, or just you know for swapping out with each other. But it lists the different states and where they are. So there's Pennsylvania. And there's that. Wyoming. That's what that side looks like. But yeah, that'd be kind of fun. So this is a uh, game cards, but 
Five state Rummy can make learning facts about United States fun. The object of the game is to collect five cards of states that have touching con touching borders. Each state card has an illustration of the state bird and flower as well as the name of the state capital. Well, that's a pretty cool game. Especially if you're out traveling or something. be a good driving game. I got this picture. This is at a local... Um, it's a Christian organization, St. Vinny's or Vincent's or something. So I got that. And uh says my mom and her sister Leela. It's an old postcard. So I thought that was really cool. I like old pictures. Pretty neat. This was from another store. We didn't get to stay there long. The lady was like 80 years old. She's like, do you honeys need anything? It's 5.30 and I need to go home. <laughs> so I got these cards uh, for a quarter. And then uh, there was one It was, here it is. So here's the cards. I thought the pattern, the windmill pattern was kind of cool. They're super old. Old Firestone. Uh, playing cards. But this is laying by itself. A checkerbird. So it's a turkey. It's a jack. So I'm going to put that in my smash book or something. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, the lady goes, the old lady, she was so cute. Honey, your card fell out of the deck. And I go, no, that was laying there. So if you want extra for that, I'll give you some extra money. And <laughs> she said no. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. I got goosebumps. This is a hardcover. I love goosebumps. Uh, they came out when my daughter was younger, so I pre-read every all of her books because her reading level was far advanced from her age level, so I'd have to make sure that it was okay or that she would understand them. So I'd pre-read all the goosebumps and Harry Potter and all that when they came out, and then I'd give them to her if it was okay. Uh, that was, I think, Goodwill? Nope. I don't know which store I got that at. That was a dollar. Then I got some other kids' books. This is the little or the pokey little puppy. My grandma used to have this, and I'd read it all the time when I was little. And this one I think is the 1971, not the 1942 one. Uh, clean. Everything's clean about this book. Uh, but I so I got that. I thought it was fun. Reminded me of when I was little. This is so cute. George and Martha. One fine day. Great illustration. Be good for smash books. Trading out. I, I will probably read it first, just out of curiosity. But that was an adorable book. This one, I think, this was Amber's. Oh, this is like a Halloween book. Great illustration again. Nice, clean book. And these, I think, were at Goodwill, and they were like a couple bucks a piece, which I thought was kind of high, but... I just picked the ones I really wanted. But isn't that cute? Great illustration. And Harry and the Lady Next Door. Again, I'm going to I'll probably read it and then can swap out pages. Look at the colors in the drawings. It's great. Look at crisp white. This thing's brand new. This isn't creased at all. Just pure white. Great condition. Uh, it has this on it, I suppose from the Goodwill. I think that's where I got it. And I got one more book. I love I Spy. So that's what this is, the uh, uh, Spooky Night. These would be great. That's the only, f I mean, beyond little dings, that's the only flaw I saw. But I thought, how fun would this be to lay out in a scrapbook or something? Be a two-page, two-pager. So that's the books I got. We must have hit um, five, I think, thrift stores. That was yesterday. Today we went down to State Street. Today's Saturday. And we bummed around State Street. I'll shoot that uh, video tomorrow. Uh, it's kind of late tonight. And, oh good, Phantom's back. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Can I help? Alright. I was super excited about this. This is an original Clue game. No, buddy. Why don't you come on this side? Come on. You're like a wet noodle. How cool is that? 
not all the parts are in there. The game board is some pieces, some of the stuff. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this yet. But I love Clue. It's my favorite. And then to find an original, I was really excited. What do we got here? Oh, Make a Magazine. I got that. They have some fun stuff. Oh, and then somebody... A Somerset Studio one. I love Somerset Studio. This one is... Uh, volume 12. Oh, here we go. September, October 2008. I am stoked about that one. I got this game. Urban Myth. It was $2.30. So it looks like... Honey. <laughs> you are cracking me up. So it looks like it was at Goodwill. They sold it. And then gave it to the other place. And I think that was that the Christian one. So this looks like... Stop! Had all the parts in it. Um, so I might trade some of this stuff out. I have to look at it further. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet what I want to do with it. But it was so neat and it's so old. So I got it. Real wood dominoes. So I got those. An Archie comic. I used to buy these all the time. Love Archie. They're fun. I got this. It's a McCall's ribbon maker. You can see that. Uh, it looked like all, if not most, of the parts are in there. See, he's clawing me. Sorry. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that. There we go. See that? See that? Pretty cool. Have fun making fashionable little roses. That was pretty neat. And then be a McCall's, and it's definitely vintage. I bought... It, there's more than this, but I bought a big pack of random cards. Uh, there's some Dotto. Never heard of that. Uh, there's some money. There's some... Factor crap. Uh, there are some of these animal cards. That's what they look like. Sentences. Uh, Dotto. There's just all different stuff. Like there's a rummy with frogs and then the igloo with some animal stuff. And a whole bunch of that. So we can, you know, I'll trade those out or send them with stuff. I got this pretty card deck. Show you what that looks like. You just don't see that. It's, so it's vintage. And then, um, it's on Japanese. And the cards are in Japanese. And, uh, English. See? And the beautiful artwork on there. Photography. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with these. i to see if even the whole deck's there or what's up. So it's kind of beat up, but not too bad. I got this deck of playing cards. I thought that was pretty. Stained glass look. Are you going to dig in the bag? Don't you want that? I got paper doilies. Thought they'd be fun for cards. Some pom-poms. Nothing too exciting there, but I thought with Christmas cards coming, uh, this might be fun for snowmen or snow or something. These all back in the bag. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Aren't they funny? I didn't even see all these. I haven't looked through all of them yet. Are you helping? That's nice that you're going to help. And I think I got a couple more things. I got these scissors. These are, um, I have my grandma's pair and they're exactly like this. And I guess they used to cut hair with these. See how it kind of can hook, your fingers would fit in there. 
in these parts and then this wraps around this finger. Um, so I was excited to find those. Bunch of buttons. All different kinds. Uh, it's very light so I think they're all plastic. Uh, earring backs. I lose mine quite a bit. They're just the rubber um, dealers that go on the back of your earrings. Some red pom-poms. They go well with white, wouldn't you say? Uh, this is just some white ribbon. It just has a rubber binder around it. And then I was pretty excited about this. This is a... <coughs> there was only one. It appears to be a bookend. But I really like owls. And they look like... They just look like they're just so hugging each other. They're very cute. So I got that. And... Okay. That is it for my thrifting haul. Um, like I said, I'll do the State Street Hall tomorrow. Uh, I think we might go hit the west side of Madison tomorrow and go thrift shopping. I think these were on the east side. I'm not entirely sure. Um, yeah, so it's been good so far. Good weekend, good shopping. All right, and you got to meet Phantom. All right, everybody take care, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. Come say bye.